I'm Ellie Maas and I'm talking about the theme of On the Beach Artworks. The evolution of many themes and the development of various media in the production of Geert Maas art are complex and fascinating. The human form triumphs and humanity is celebrated in ancestry, fertility, Adam and Eve, the kiss, young family and on the beach. For the on the beach theme in various media, he drew inspiration from the time we have spent at local beaches. The beach boy and beach girl sculptures depict people in bathing suits, relaxed and enjoying life. A favorite summer pastime at the beaches and pools in Kelowna. Rounded forms in his artwork reflect humanity, love and humor. His inspiration for rounded forms is stimulated by the rolling hills around Kelowna. His art often deals with relationships. People behave differently alone than together. The physical placing and spacing of the various figures determines the emotional content of the artwork. During his solo exhibitions, October 16 to December 1, 2000 at Simon Fraser University Gallery in Burnaby and their Tech Gallery at Harbour Centre Vancouver, BC, a group sculpture of On the Beach in bronze with three adult sunbathers and two children has been acquired for their permanent art collection. The sculptures are mounted on a brushed aluminum base. In 2002, a similar group sculpture of On the Beach in bronze with three adult sunbathers and two children has been acquired for the permanent art collection of the city of Kelowna. Geert designed a 64 square foot curved concrete base in the shape of a wave with small aggregate on top for the permanent installation of the close to life-size on the beach bronze sculptures. The installation was completed on June 28, 2002 and the dedication of the artwork was held on August 15, 2002. It's delightful to see the young and old interacting with this significant group sculpture. It was noted that the complementary of art with location could not be better in its location in Waterfront Park in downtown Kelowna on Tugbo Bay Beach, bordering Okanagan Lake. In the studio, the beach figures were first made in clay and then fired in the electric kiln. The firing takes approximately 40 hours of gradual heat up to 1200 degrees Celsius for stone bear. Plaster molds were then made in several sections before the creation of wax positives. Using the so-called lost wax method, whereby the wax is lost before casting, the figures were finally rough cast in bronze at the local Pyramid Bronze Foundry. At the studio, the polished bronze is embellished with multiple patinas. Geert brushed on the chemical M20 for the bathing suits and hair. To achieve the skin tones, he used heat and a com combined solution of sulfurated potash ferric nitrate and ammonium sulfide. The tableau group depicts a mother and daughter surrounded by four adults. The original sculpture in stoneware clay is in a private collection situated next to their swimming pool. The mold consists of 24 plaster sections and all the molds for bronze are stored on our premises. A mold is needed to make the sculpture in wax. To make a limited edition, 
these molds are to be kept safely. We would like to thank Lorenz for working tirelessly on videos and audio to connect with a wide audience to learn more about art. Feel free to contact us. Thank you.